because he was punishing himself for his past and I think sometimes when we mature we feel guilty about the way we acted so we punish ourselves and you know the biggest and something I have to keep learning over and over Welcome. Welcome back to No Life Time. My name is Holly. So grateful to have you all. Let's get into this reading. I'm excited to be doing this. I love doing every reading I do, honestly. And I'm so grateful for all of you who watch and all of you who subscribe. And if you like the video, just in general, I'm very grateful to do this, you know. So thank you. Um, let's get right into this reading. In fact, in two months, it will be three years where I have this channel. And pff, wow. How amazing is that? You know, I just realized that right now as I was saying that. <laughs> so that's really, really dope. Especially some of you that have been there from the, with me from the beginning. Um, I don't want to shout out names, but you all know who you are. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so let's get into this reading. I'm doing Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Um, doing an update on them. You know, I did a mega, I did a Royals Live recently. Um, it actually did kind of well, which I was surprised. You know, I spoke about my upbringing, that I went to a British school. I was actually um, talking to a family member of mine the other day. I was like, wow, I really, like, it was tough going to a British school. Not necessarily because it was British, but because it was very um, etiquette-driven, very, like, societal, like, high society type of school. And there was a lot of pressure, expectations and not really like thinking out the box which is one of the reasons i live in america i don't live i am american but obviously i grew up in south african england um the reason i've chosen to live in america to stay in america is because i like the uh, mentality of you can always achieve you know and i think that that definitely lacks in certain in uh, certain aspects of british culture um that's just my opinion I'm not saying anything about British people, you know, I am part British, so I can't be judging anybody. Uh, yeah, so that's just what I'm going to say <laughs> about that. With that being said, um, I felt like some of you related, you know, some of you wrote me and you were like, I relate so much to it, and so thank you, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so I think that's why I don't really have an affinity towards the royals, they're more just to me... I don't know. I don't really have a kinship or fondness towards them. They are who they are. Except for Kate Middleton. I don't know why I've always connected to her. And maybe because she's a stunning Capricorn. I feel like I can relate a lot to stunning Capricorns. But other than that, I don't have an affinity towards any of them. And in fact, Meghan Markle especially, I'm not crazy about her at all. Not that she's a royal anymore, even though they still have their titles. Um, but by the, at the time I do this video, I guess they have their titles. But I feel like, especially with Prince Harry, you know, I think that being a royal can be very, it can be bonding, bonding to societal pressure, societal norms that if you don't have a choice in, might be um, damaging to your personal well-being and your mental health so that's why i see with him i think he replaced <laughs> one damaging um one unhealthy relationship with his family for another and i see that very strongly so let's get into it one controlling fam one controlling dynamic for another which is very common okay so let's get into it i'm doing prince harry and Meghan markle the energy that i got was Lots of moving, lots of shifting around um, with the death card. Being the first card, very clear. Doesn't physically mean a death, but the death of the relationship. And I have been calling this for, I'd say, the past year. There's definitely trouble in paradise, definitely. And some of you that love Meghan Markle, you know, kudos to you, kudos to you. I'm not crazy about her. I see through the facade I always have. Um, to me, she's just a very typical LA girl who saw a chance to make it big through 
something other than you know her acting wasn't get, getting her far um and she decided hey why not marry a prince and become like a socialite type person and then basically just like demean my means of doing so but anyways i'm just not a fan of her which is funny because you know i usually like sana leo she's sana leo and a lot of people that are close to me in my life are sana leos um but her and jennifer lopez that you know sana leo type this is the dark side of sana leo can be very self they can lack self-awareness and can be very narcissistic very very narcissistic so I'm using the muse tarot and in this tarot voices is swords emotions is uh, cups so I see here and I did say this I see another woman entering the picture I get October so it could have been October 2023 or it is October of 2024 but I strongly believe that they have already met this other woman and I see her being British you know if you look at Prince Harry's type actually I know somebody who was is friends or was friends back then with Prince Harry's ex-girlfriend Chelsea I forgot her last name but she went to university in Cape Town or college and they say in North America in Cape Town and um, his type is not like Meghan Markle at all, you know. I strongly believe in types, I, you know, whether it's physical or whether it's something personal. But to me, I can clearly see he has a physical type. A lot of his exes look very similar. They're blonde, usually, and they're usually younger than he is. And I see her being this type. Blonde, younger, vibrant, you know. I feel like Meghan Markle, her energy is very... Um, down, very dull energy, but her energy, this one is very vivacious. And I think, you know, and this is what happens when you mature. And I realized this when I stopped drinking. I stopped drinking for the first time like 10 years ago. And I stopped drinking for three years actually. And when I stopped drinking, I punished myself for my younger self, you know. And I was very hard on myself for the things that I had done when I drank. And i not saying that he stopped drinking, but I'm saying that I feel like he chose the path with Meghan Markle of maturity, of a boring life, of constantly like speaking badly about himself because he was punishing himself for his past. And I think sometimes when we mature, we feel guilty about the way we acted so we punish ourselves and you know the biggest and something i have to keep learning over and over and over again in the lesson of forgiveness is not only forgive others but forgive ourselves you know self-forgiveness is very big especially if you've made mistakes with everybody has in their lives and on a big magnitude you know his mistakes are forever on the internet are forever remembered in millions of people's minds so that constant um you know and i think if you especially come from a mentality of very judgmental background very judgmental family like i believe he comes from i think he feels like if he punished himself enough in this kind of relationship that he would change or people would see him in a different way and um it's not working so there's something about the type he has that brings out this like vibrancy in him this this naughtiness in him this this need to be rambunctious you know he was the he was the naughty one of the um brothers out of the two he was the naughty one he was the one that was always traveling adventurous this that all all of that and now he seems to take have taken on the role of trying to be something that he's not. And a lot of that, I believe, is that he's punishing himself for how he used to be. But who he is, he just has that spirit. He has a spirit of adventure. He has a spirit of fun. He has a spirit of being different to other people, you know. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think he really needs to learn to make peace with it. So with five of wands which this in the t um in this deck it's inspiration but in the traditional deck it's a wand there is 
this energy of Megan feeling like she has to compete. You know, wands, five wands is can mean different things in different scenarios, but the energy that I pick up here is that if he decides to do something on his own, she'll latch onto it because she's kind of like competing with him and competing with the idea of him being with somebody else or living another life, you know? I don't know if that makes any sense. So the bottom of the deck being four of materials, which is pentacles. I see him breaking down. You know, I do believe he is in therapy and I'd be very harsh on Prince Harry before. I apologize for that because I see that he does want to be a better person. I do see that. I just think he's got so many layers as we all do. And a lot of, he hasn't really made peace with who he is as a person. Um, and that's very important. You know, I had such an epiphany because I, I haven't drank. I've been sober for one year now. And not out of anything other than I just needed clarity. You know, I graduated from a very, two courses from an Ivy League school. So it was very tough. And I was like, I cannot drink actually because... It was uh, very, uh, I don't want to say the school because I don't want to endorse them and put them on blast or whatever, but it was difficult. It was a very difficult, two difficult courses that I did, that I completed in six months. And because of that, I couldn't drink. And I realized, hey, drinking is not really in my life. I feel so much better when they don't drink. I'm not judging anybody that does. You know, alcohol has done a lot of good for me in my life. I've had many fun times. Um, but at this moment in my life, it is not rewarding me to drink. So with that being said, being sober has really, I got into the, the, because I went through it with my therapist before when I got sober and I used to punish myself and he would say to me, don't punish yourself. You were a different version of yourself. And if you knew then what you know now, you might not have even acted better, you know, because sometimes we act the way we're supposed to at that time, and we have to make peace with that. So he has to make peace with that, and it's very, it's very difficult, very, very difficult, especially in such a judgmental world, you know. So with four pentacles, he's really break, he's having breakthroughs, big breakthroughs, even though I believe there's another woman. He's still learning about himself and sometimes it takes us making the biggest mistakes, you know, and hurting people and even in relationships, you know, when you figure something out about somebody else or you realize that their path is completely different to yours, making peace with other people's mistakes and your own mistakes is very liberating. So with the Muse of Voices, which is King of Swords, Ten of Cups, and the Hierophant, I see him after everything, finally finding happiness. Otherwise, it's very him-driven, this, this reading. Um, I do believe that they are, if they aren't physically living in a different place to one another, they're emotionally separated. Um... Because I see this other woman being very prominent in his life. Very, very prominent. So Knight of Cups and King of Wands. I see him moving forward, taking the steps to get separated and to get divorced. In fact, the separation won't even be that long because it is California. I believe they got married in California. No, excuse me. They did not because they had that royal wedding. But I believe in California where they reside right now. They don't have to have separation, I believe. Is that correct? I, don't, I didn't live in California long. I know mostly East Coast stuff. I know about Florida and I know about um, uh, New York. I know how long you have to be separated because my ex are that went through separation. But I don't believe in California. You have to be, I think you can file for divorce like shortly after you separate. But, anyways, I see him taking action and deciding, hey, this relationship's not healthy for me, you know? And then taking that action, he's going to take the steps. And he's going to leave. I've always said that. I predicted this before. He is the one that's going to file for divorce and go back to England. So that's what I have for you all. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.